Uh, moving on now, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, forecast an increase in the gross performance index in the second and third quarters of 2021. The president of the LCCI, Tokyo Mabugunje, made a prediction at the LCCI quarterly press briefing on Tuesday in Lagos. Now, joining us this time around to make some sense out of all of this is the founder of the Unique Foundation, Dr. Chris Imu Molland. Uh, many thanks once again, Dr. Chris, for joining us on Business Insight. Uh, the LCCI has come out to predict that the second and third quarter uh, for business in Nigeria would be so favorable. But looking at what we have in place with the rising inflation and all of that, do you see this prediction as uh, you know, feasible? Okay, and um, thank you, uh, Mr. Justin, for having me on your show. Okay, the LCCI, yes, um, has predicted, um, it's prediction, of course, but looking at what is happening critically in the economy, we know that we don't even need a prediction. We don't need any form of statistics to say that the inflation rate is rising. You can see the cost of common products out there is going up. The petroleum product is going up. It has never, even from the first quarter of the year, it has gone up. So... I, 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 I still have my own reservation for such prediction as, a, as one person that is into business and also assisting SMEs in the country. So it is um, clear that um, the prediction out there is, um, is, is one that we should critically look into. Price of commodity are going up. The social intervention from government is not eating the grassroots um, business. Um, you know, you can see the general and um, business outlook. I know some of these um, issues are primarily not just um, centered on government's role. Of course, the international market by itself it is affected based on so many critical factors from the health sector to, to national and international business landscape. A lot of businesses are really affected. And let's come down home. You can, we can talk about security and the rest of them. You know, a lot of business have been affected. So for me, I, I don't see any feasibility or realistic in seeing that um, the quarter or the next quarter of the year would have them um, if, if the government is not taking actions and steps that are largely different from what they've been doing. Okay, let's talk about these um, actions and steps that you have uh, just uh, mentioned. Uh, you know, last year was a terrible one for not just Nigeria's economy, but also the global economy. Um, several nations, of course, were hit uh, by the impact of the coronavirus, and Nigeria uh, marginally uh, recorded some uh, uh, growth. What should the federal government uh, should be, what should they be focusing right now to ensure that uh, this growth actually stands and, of course, Nigerians can actually begin to enjoy, you know, uh, uh, a formidable industry in Nigeria, of course, to, to thrive in terms of business and uh, so we can get the right investment in terms of FDI into the country? Yeah, I think um, the first is um, the CBN and every other sector agencies that are in charge of encouraging business in Nigeria should come up with as many as possible social intervention funds to help SMEs in Nigeria. I think this is high time for more tight regulations for um, banks to ensure that um, loans are given out at good rates, not double digits to supporting government. Well, I applaud what um, some sectors of the government have done by ensuring that uh, many businesses are registered, giving waiver for such. I think we want to see more of that. Agricultural sector by itself should be more supported, not the political support that we see where support is going through pa political parties to, 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 no, 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 as in real farmers getting the job. You know, like we've, we've had this done in the past by former minister of um, um, Agri, where farmers got things and it got to them directly. I want to see that there are approaches that get people in the grassroots who actually need this support, get them. Secondly, the security. We cannot talk without talking about the security. The security in every part of the country now is, is, is I know the president is doing a lot. Recently, we've seen some critical moves to see how to cope that. You can see farmers now find it very difficult to move product from the north to the south because of the security challenge, not just from the north itself, even from the southeast. So right. I think the government needs to look at taking deliberate steps to solving numerous problems that are facing business, transportation, logistics, All that right. are facing securement, getting funds to support business. Right, thank you, I don't Dr. want to talk about power because power has been a long-term issue that we've been talking about. But let's look at how do we solve these immediate problems that are really... All right, thank you, Dr. Chris uh, in, in that part, yeah.
All right, thank you, Dr. Chris Imumale, and I'm afraid that's as much as we can uh, talk uh, specifically as regards the economy and what we need to do to, uh, you know, to ensure growth in that particular sectors that you have mentioned. Of course, uh, you can also uh, follow us on our various social media platforms and keep the conversation flowing. Uh, Business Insight uh, returns again next week, Friday, by half past five. My name is Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for watching.